Hello guys, this is Sumit here from Study Hub and in today's lesson, I'm going to show you a strategy which is going to make your life very easy um, when you're looking for fill in the blanks. Your fill in the blanks are of two different types. The first type is called drag and drop and in this particular type of question, what you need to do is there is a passage given and there are some fill in the blanks. Your task is to read this passage and and there are some options underneath you need to choose the right option drag it and drop it at the right location that is what you're what you're supposed to do there is another type of fill in the blanks which is called drop down menu drop down menu means in this particular question there are some options given now out of these options you need to find out which option is right um, and choosing that particular option out of the given options, you have to find the answer. Most of these questions are based on collocations, but sometimes grammar and vocabulary as well. What I have observed is um, roughly, roughly about 10% of the questions are based on vocabulary um, or 10 to 15% I would say. Roughly 40% questions are based on um, your uh, grammar and then about roughly 45 to 50% of the questions are based on collocations. I'm going to show you a strategy today with the help of which you fill in the blanks will become a little bit better without knowing grammar, without knowing collocations, without knowing anything. Just by being a little bit more careful about this type of question, you can improve your score. So let's have a look at this guys. I'm going to take some of the examples from the official book and I'm going to take some outside it as well and I'm going to show you something guys. There are three things we have to remember, three steps we have to take. First of all, we have to read the options. We have to read the options and we have to see what sort of meanings do I know and what sort of meanings I don't know. And the meanings that I don't know, what can I do about them, right? So I'm going to show you this strategy, but let's have, let's look at the meaning of these words. Let's read these words. First word is endures. Second is because. Third is enjoyed. Fourth is continent. Fifth is remains while and suffered. Now in this particular type of question guys, what I have to do is I have to see the meaning of words first. For example, endures. What's the meaning of endures? Now some of you may need the, may know the meaning of endures. Some of you may not know the meaning of endure. Guys, a lot of times these vocabulary words are given just to confuse you. There are difficult words just to confuse you. And you're going to use a strategy for these questions called IDC. IDC means I don't care, right? Endures. What's the meaning of endures? Well, if I know it, I know it means kind of bear, tolerate kind of thing, um, to be able to handle kind of thing. But if I don't know, I'm going to say I don't care, right? Second is because third is enjoyed. Now, when I see words with ED, like second form or past participle, I know this is a verb and it's, it has a past participle then continent remains wild and suffered that is the first step i'm going to take and i'm going to read the options then the second step is i'm going to read the uh, read the first sentence and i'm going to try to get a sense of it where is it going towards something good something bad something happy something sad um, and that's going to help me quite a lot as well for example it says although botswana is rich in diamonds it has high unemployment and stratified socioeconomic classes. So although this country is rich in diamonds, it has high unemployment rate, right? What is high unemployment? Unemployment means uh, people don't have jobs. And stratified socioeconomic classes, if I know the meaning of so stratified socioeconomic classes, good. If I don't, then I'm going to see and unemployment and after end, there should be something similar to this, right? Is unemployment good or bad? Well, the answer is bad. Uh, stratified social economic classes, what it means, it, it means classes are divided like in levels, uh, high level, low level, middle class, high class, that sort of stuff, right? So is that a good thing or a bad thing? Like division in society, unemployment, is that a good thing or bad thing? Well, by the sound of it, it doesn't sound good. Means it's going towards something bad. Means my keywords, I have to kind of look at it. I have to consider these things in my mind when I'm choosing the answers. Then it says in 1999, the nation dash its first budget deficit. Now 1999 is 1999 present, past or future. Well, by the sound of it, 1999, it is past. Right? And when it's passed, there are two things. One, it may have something like was were, is Amar was were, but I can't see any was were here, right? The second thing is if it doesn't have was were, it, it needs to have past participle or second form of verb we use mainly, right? In this one, endures, that doesn't sound like a verb, 
uh, sorry sec second verb it's more of present endure endures um, remains because while enjoyed content suffered so enjoyed ed suffered ed means past participle so answer has to be something from enjoyed or suffered 1999 means in past nation dash is such but budget, budget deficit now a lot of students know the meaning of deficit deficit means budget going down right so if the budget is going down will they enjoy or suffer well they have to suffer but what if i don't know the meaning of deficit what i'm getting is high unemployment stratified socio economic classes so something not about enjoying right going towards negative side a little bit right so suffer is the right answer not enjoyed because it says deficit plus it's talking about unemployment stratified socio economic classes then it says in 16 years dash of a slump in the international diamond market dash of a downfall in the international diamond market dash off so we have to something see something that collocates with it what is a collocation guys collocation is a set of words which are used together more often than normal for example i'm drinking a cup of tea right and i say well i'm drinking a cup of powerful tea is that the right word that i've chosen the answer is no for tea and coffee we use strong not powerful i can say strong tea or strong coffee not powerful why not because it doesn't sound right right um and and is that the only collocation no um do you make a mistake or do you do a mistake well you make a mistake right um do you uh, for example do you make a big mistake or a large mistake well you make a big mistake not a large mistake right um that's a collocation there are plenty of collocations well do you eat fast food or quick food well fast food do you make a quick meal or a fast meal a quick meal right um do you miss a bus or do you lose a bus well miss a bus right they are all collocations so now it says and 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 there is more i mean sometimes we have phrasal verbs right for example well my car break down right broke down break down is a collocation break up is a collocation as well right um uh, fell apart collocation as well sometimes we have idioms for example every coin has two sides two sides or two faces well two sides right um that's a collocation as well now in this particular scenario it says in last in 16 years dash off a slump dash off there dash of a downfall in the international diamond market dash of means because of can i say endures of no remains of no because of a slump in the international diamond market then it says yet right yet probably they are switching to the to the time yet botswana dash one of the wealthiest and most stable countries in on the african so there is the article african is the adjective there we are looking for a noun article adjective noun becomes a noun phrase the african and yours remains while enjoyed doesn't make sense the african continent right yet botswana dash one of the wealthiest right yet botswana remains one of the wealthiest and most stable countries on the african continent let's try the next one the new year so first of all we need the options augment what's the meaning of augment well augment means making something bigger right enhancing increasing Uh, that's what it means but what if i don't know the meaning of augment i'm going to use the strategy i don't care right with the previous one endures you didn't know the meaning but was that the answer well in many cases in fact 80 90% of the cases these words are there to confuse you right let's look at the next one augment if i don't know the meaning of augment what do i do well idc means i don't care concerns easy areas easy temples easy expel easy expel means remove for those who don't know parties uh, easy prepare easy foresee is easy as well a lot of food you of you would know foresee means seeing something in future but if i don't know it i'll just say idc right the new year is the most important holiday in japan new year is the most important holiday in japan is that something good or bad important holiday well that sounds good and it's a symbol of renewal is that good or bad well symbol of renewal it sounds good as well in december so it's talking about something good in december various bon bonenkai 
or forget the year dash are held to bid farewell dash are held what can be held can augment be held no expel be held in stock much something good holiday a symbol of renewal so we're looking for something good right concerns can be held well that's not good either but can they be held no areas temples parties can parties be held yes they can be held to bid farewell to problems to say goodbye to problems and why am i getting it so important holiday renewal something good I forget the year parties are held to bid farewell to problems and something now when you use and you need to have something similar problem and something similar plural and plural singular and singular so problem is something negative and it has s means plural augment doesn't have s expel areas problem and area doesn't make sense temples problems and temples doesn't make sense either but problems and concerns make sense right with and we look for something similar when we have or we're looking for a synonym kind of thing but when we have and we're looking for something similar S problems and concerns of the past year and dash for a new beginning dash for now for so for a new beginning augment expel areas doesn't make sense temples for doesn't make sense prepare for makes sense for c4 well makes sense but it doesn't collocate very well 4c4 we don't use 4c4 right but prepare for yes we do prepare for a new beginning misunderstandings and grudges are forgiven and houses are scrubbed at midnight on december 31st would buddhist dash strike their gongs in 108 times so buddhist what strike their gongs gongs are the those like uh, big uh, metal plates kind of thing and they strike their gongs 108 times but this what we're looking for a noun but this is the adjective there argument no expel no areas no no not really temples for see temples but this temples strike their gongs 108 times in an effort to dash 108 type of human weaknesses now weaknesses what do you want to do with the weaknesses do you want to remove them or make them bigger well remove them in an effort to expel 108 type of weaknesses well augment we didn't know the meaning but is it there um just to confuse us maybe yes 4c is it there just to confuse us maybe right so this is how you can maybe be finding the answers let's try one more of this as well to be so in this one we we'll read the options first deploy endorse presentation regulated employ inspiration i think easier words are perhaps regulated employ presentation these are the easier ones right um deploy what's the meaning of deploy um if i don't know the meaning what do i do i'm going to be use this be using the strategy idc means i don't care right deploy it means getting ready into the position right endorse if i don't know the meaning what do i say well i don't care inspiration well i know what is inspire inspiring someone but if, what if i don't know the meaning i'll say idc i don't care and 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 if it's something that's making sense in terms of grammar i'll then consider it to be called a hot code culture um, culture house a business must belong to a syn um, syndical chamber of ho um, hot co uh, hot uh, court uh, in paris which is dashed by french department of industry guys whenever you have by whenever you have by 99% of the chances are there you're looking for a third form there right for example the work was done by me right the letter was read by him right um for example uh, mean like a passive voice but when you have by it is the the third form you're looking for for example um the newspaper was read by him right uh, the lecture was given by right given by the teacher uh, so in this one we're looking for by means we're looking for third form deploy regulated endorse employee presentation in inspiration which one looks like the third form right regulated very good right regulated by the french department of industry members must dash 15 or most people more people and present their collections twice a year members must dash members must deploy G getting into action doesn't make sense well i don't know the meaning as well for example endorse or employ is presentation doesn't make sense inspiration doesn't make sense employ maybe members must employ 15 or more people and present their collections twice a year so what are they saying present their collections what are they saying present their collections twice a year each dash must include 35 separate outfits for the day and evening each dash each present their collections each presentation 
must include at least 35 separate outfits for day and evening wear. So presentation is the answer. Deploy, difficult, perhaps for some students. Is that the answer? No. What strategy do we use? IDC means I don't care. Endorse, inspiration. If they're difficult, don't worry too much about it. A lot of students choose the answers because they're difficult, but most of the time they're not the answers. Just because something is difficult doesn't mean they are the answers. Let's look at this one. It says below is a text with blank. Select the appropriate answer for each blank. Now this particular type of question we have four options. Deal, respin, respond, cope and act. And our task is to find the right answer for this particular one, right? So guys, in this particular one, what I'm, I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to read the option first, then the question, right? So for example, this one, deal. Now deal, deal, what sort of collocation do we use with deal? Deal with, respond to cope with act upon or act something but deal with respond respond to cope with or cope up with right so human body is designed to dash physically rather than mentally two stressful situations so what is it using two stressful situations so can i say deal physically rather than mentally yes but can i say deal two stressful situations no it doesn't make sense can i say Cope to stressful situations? No, it doesn't make sense. Can I say act to? Doesn't make sense. Can I say respond to? Well, respond to is a collocation and respond to certainly makes sense. So the human body is designed to respond physically. Answer is going to be respond. Respond physically rather than mentally to stressful situations. And then I read the next one. Cold cold um what do we use after cold well uh, nothing basically right named after known as referred to or referred by right in this one it says this instinctive reaction to a situation is dash as the fight or flight response dash as so cold as no named as no known as yes referred to or referred by but known as fight or flight response so the answer has to be known let's look at the third one um, third one says chance occasion hope likelihood then it says the body is prepared to either stand and deal with look at deal with deal with is a collocation you're finding collocations within the paragraph as well right the body is prepared to either stand and deal with the problem by fighting it or to escape to safety even if the problem or threat is emotional and not physical the body behaves in the same way the heart beats faster the muscles tense and the skin sweats more if someone finds themselves in a situation where there is no dash to escape or overcome the dash of the there is no dash to escape which will collocate what no occasion to escape no hope uh, no no likelihood no no chance to escape makes sense if you're if they find themselves in a situation where there is no chance to escape collocation again over or overcome the dash of threat dash of threat means let's have a look reason of no reason for cause of manner doesn't a manner no, we don't need off. Purpose of, yes, but purpose of doesn't make sense. Purpose of is not making sense here. So where, so it says, if someone finds themselves in a situation where there's no chance to escape or overcome the dash of threat, overcome the cause of, cause of is a collocation, cause of threat, then stress and anxiety will occur. Some of, and then it says symptoms, infections, moods, and pains. It says, um, it says, some of the first signs that the pressure is getting to you are loss of concentration, inability to sleep, loss of temper for minor reasons, headaches, aching limbs, and general feeling of uneasiness. These dash can lead on to, so lead to again, lead on to, lead to is a collocation as well. Right? It says these dash can lead to more serious problems. So these dash, symptoms, infections, moods, or pains. Let's have a look at it. So it says loss of concentration, inability to sleep, loss of temper, headache, aching limbs. Are they all pains? No. Are they all infections? No. Are they all moods? No. They are all symptoms. So the answer has to be these symptoms can lead on to more serious problems. Then it says away, back, towards, forward. It says stress weakens the body's defense system, so you're more likely to get minor ailments like colds. It can also lead to baldness. Mentally, it becomes harder and harder to perform your normal day-to-day -day activities and can lead to, again, collocation, lead 
to a nervous breakdown recognizing all this is the first step dash getting back to health and being able to cope with again another collocation with the causes of stress causes of again collocation here right recognizing all this is the first step away getting back no first step towards getting back is a collocation as well right let's look at a few more right let's look at this one right or what i'll do is guys write down in the comment section if you want this uh, uh sheet when which we have a lot of fill in the blanks not just this one there are approximately 12 different types of fill in the blanks if you want the sheet of it just write in the comment section please send me a copy give us a little bit of feedback about the video as well if it's helping if it is not helping if it is helpful if it's making any sense there um let us know a little bit about the video as well and also say Please send me the copy and we will definitely send you a copy um, um, about this. And, and, and if it's on YouTube, just write in your email ID as well. Type in your email ID as well. And if it's on Facebook, just type in the comment section. How did you like the video? If it's helpful, if it's not helpful, um, a bit of feedback. And then I will uh, give you the uh, rest of the fill in the blanks as well. Right. So what I might do is I might just cover and um, this is easy as well. I might just cover at least one. And then what we'll do is I'll show you different types. There are other types as well. So it says most of the rubbish we so first task is to read the blank researched, estimated, surveyed and assumed. It says most of the rubbish we produce about two thirds of it goes into landfills. Now it is dash that the average UK household household produces about one and a half tons of rubbish a year. So it says most of the rubbish we produce about two thirds of it goes into landfills. All right, that's fine. Now it is dash that average UK household produces about one and a half tons of rubbish a year. So now it is now it is researched. Well, it makes sense. Estimated makes sense. Surveyed, yeah, maybe. Assumed, maybe. Now it is assumed. In terms of collocation, everything makes sense, right? But we have to see. It says one and a half tons of rubbish. Now one and a half ton right is a number do we research number do we estimate number survey or assume well the answer is we estimate number so the answer has to be it is estimated right if you want to try rest of them and you want to get the answers as well just write in the comment section but to make the video keep the video short i'm going to try the next one i'm going to start with the next one right so guys, let's look at the next one. It says, um, uh, so this is fill in the blanks, drag and drop. So it's the other one, the one we were doing earlier. Focus, deals, way, practices, selling, output and extent. Right? These are based on collocations and the collocations you're getting right now are quite repetitive as well, right? And I want you to take notes of these collocations as well. It says, technology and flexible work dash have had a significant impact on today's busy companies. Flexible work dash right work focus no deals no way no practices maybe selling output extend guys work practices flexible work practices work practices is a collocation right then it says in terms of productivity it seems the dash has shifted well what has shifted what can shift deals is sh has shifted no practices no well the focus has shifted shifting focus is a collocation as well from managing employees in workplace to monitoring their total total extent focus no total output total output is a collocation as well no matter where they choose to work whether this trend will continue depends to some dash on how well it works for everyone concerned to some extent some extent is a to some extent is a collocation as well write them down they will help you a lot now let's look at the second one it says distant variety family ranging apart sounds complex round elephants have a very dash communication system very dash communication system and i said distant communication system yes but it doesn't make really sense distant communication system variety no family no ranging no apart no sound complex maybe maybe complex or round right so what is making more sense complex communication system Elephants have a very complex communication system which helps them maintain their close dash bones, right? Close dash bones, distant bones, no variety bon bones, no apart bones, no family bones. Close family bones is a collocation as well. 
when they are near each other they use verbal and visual signals to express a wide dash of emotions a wide dash of emotion a wide variety of emotion a wide variety is a collocation as well as they move further dash move further dash move further distant no move further apart is a collocation as well moving further apart is a collocation as well they use less common rumbling dash that can be heard over 2 kilometers away dash can be heard what can you hear well sound sound can be heard over 2 kilometers away and for this one as well guys if you need it um just write in the comment section that you've uh, as you as i mentioned earlier as well we'll send you this one as well along with the answer there are really good collocations in this particular list that can help you i'm gonna do one last one more and then we'll call it a tie yes guys let's look at this one it says option opportunity selection influences requires factors rate right um easy words we know the meaning based on collocation right using questionnaires to gather information from people is a well used quantitative research method it is considered to be an easy dash but in reality it is actually very difficult so in reality it is very difficult but what is it considered to be an easy an easy opportunity no selection no easy option an easy option is a collocation right an easy option but in reality it is very difficult to design a good questionnaire question type clarity of language length of questionnaire and layout are just some of the many dash which are which all need to be carefully considered when designing the questionnaire some of the many dash some of the many option no opportunity no selection no influences no requires no we're looking for a noun and we're looking for a plural noun because it says many right many factors some which are some of the many factors which all need to be carefully considered when designing a questionnaire another issue which dash some deliberation is how to ensure a high response dash a high response rate is a collocation which dash which needs maybe but needs isn't there which requires some deliberation yes which requires some deliberation um some thinking is how to ensure a high response rate right so guys this is these questions are based on collocations and these collocations are repetitive as well if you need a list of this as well again as i said you can write it in the comment section guys in the class do we only work on these things no the strategies for fill in the blanks there are a total of 3 classes in which we cover fill in the blanks that are based on vocabulary fill in the blanks that are based on grammar fill in the blanks that are based on um collocation in that particular class we learn all of them right in in the class at study hub when you come when a student comes that comes here at study hub the student is first of all tested we take an assessment from the assessment we figure out what sort of level is the student at and 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 what sort of what are the needs of the student and and how can we help him or her the best way possible and how long will it take for him or her to get the score in the shortest possible time frame then the student is given the course and every week there are assessments as well where for example uh, where the student finds out what sort of level are we at if you are if you're finding any difficulty with grammar student gets extra classes for grammar and all that as well some some of the fill in the blanks are purely based on grammar right for example this one victoria university of wellington has conferred an honorary degree on a distinguished astrophysicist in a recent graduation ceremony professor very couch dash the honorary honorary degree of direct doctor of science for his remarkable contribution to our knowledge of galaxies and dark energy in this question guys professor very couch dash the honorary degree was receiving the honorary degree had received the honorary degree is received the honorary degree or received this particular question is based on grammar guys and pure grammar right um finding the answer for this one you need to know the grammar right in order to find the questions that are based on those which they who you need to know relative clauses otherwise it's going to be very hard for you to get the answer right we do cover these type of questions in the um in in the class but if you want me to make a short video uh, on this as well i can do that as well let us know in the comment section if you would also like to book a trial class at study hub um or if you'd like to book a free assessment at study hub um you can contact us on this contact number given number you can also <coughs> fill up this form which is given on in the description of this video as well and let us know how was the video thank you very much and i wish you good luck for your exam have a wonderful time thank you guys